All right, here's a really quick tutorial on how to set up a multi-output instrument in Pro Tools 11 and how to capture each one of those multi-outputs on an aux track so that you can mix and treat them separately. So first thing I'm going to do is create a click track because I'm going to do a little recording. The second thing I'm going to do is create a new track. It's going to be a stereo instrument track. I'm going to call that Violin 1. I'm going to instantiate, in this case, play. And I'm going to go to my browser and I'm going to load up a few orchestral pe patches. Violins 1, Padre Legato. It's going to MIDI channel 1 here. Now I'm going to go to Violins 2. I'm going to say Add. should go on MIDI channel 2, as you can see here. Violas, same thing, Add. And Cellos, Add. Four different MIDI channels, four different patches. I'm going to go to the player view and I'm going to be setting the output here. First of all, MIDI channel 1 is going to go to the first stereo pair. MIDI channel 2 is going to go to the second stereo pair. MIDI channel 3 is going to go to the third stereo pair. MIDI channel 4 is going to go to the fourth stereo pair. So now in play I should be all set. So now I'm going to have to go and create three MIDI tracks. Which are going to take care of inputting information for violin 2, viola, and cello. I'm going to take these three MIDI tracks that I just created. I'm going to set the input to my controller. I'm going to say all channels because it doesn't matter what my controller is set to. Now the output of these three MIDI tracks has to be set to something different. So I'm on a Mac, I'm going to hold down Shift, Option, Command, and I'm going to go up to Play and I'm going to choose MIDI channel 2, 3, and 4. And you're going to see because I'm on Violin 2 and because I'm holding down Shift, Option, Command, I can go to Channel 2. So now Violin 1, MIDI Channel 1, is going to be controlled by this Master Instrument track. MIDI Channel 2 for Violins 2 is going to be this one. MIDI Channel 3 is this one. MIDI Channel 4 is this one. Now I have to also create some aux tracks, some auxiliary tracks, that are going to receive the audio that are triggered by these three down here. So I'm going to choose stereo aux, I'm going to make three, and I'm going to choose call this aux violins two. I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to go down Okay, so there is my aux tracks. I'm going to make all these ones uh, solo safe by command clicking on the solo button. And then I'm just going to do some track reorganization right here. I'm going to put this one next here, this one next to the violas, there's the chill. I'm going to also do some color coding so I know what I got. It's just easier for me. All right, so now I'm going to go and set the session tempo to 60. I'm going to choose my count off being one bar long. I'm going to turn on my metronome. I'm going to 
do some recording now. So I'm going to choose the cello mini channel 4. Oops. Here's one thing. The auxiliary tracks have to be set so that their input is coming from the plug-in play output 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's mini channel 2, 3, and 4. Play 1, 2 is already going to the master instrument track. Again, I'm holding down Shift Option Command on the Mac, and you can see it automatically does 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Every track that I've selected, it'll go to the next input, which is pretty handy when you're in a hurry to set things, these things up. So here you go. Cello. And now violins one. MIDI channel that's triggering play and the audio is going to be showing up here on this aux track. Finally, the violas, and you should see the audio coming through here on the viola auxiliary. At this point, if I solo violin one, I'm going to turn off the metronome. If I solo the MIDI channel for violin two, and do the same thing for our violin, or uh, the violas rather. And the cellos. Now, because each of the MIDI tracks is routed to its own auxiliary, here is the, the master up here, which will just be MIDI channel 1, which is violin 1. Auxiliary 2 is for violin 2. You can affect each one differently. You can put different EQs on, etc. Hope that helps.